if you're one of those people in the woke cancel culture mob who's constantly looking everywhere they can for racism or bigotry or anti-Semitism, chances are you're going to convince yourself that you find it everywhere, even in instances where it doesn't exist. And in the case of Jamie Foxx, it looks like he got caught up in a big controversy. I guess when everybody was like, oh, Jamie Foxx, we love you. We're sorry about your medical stuff. That didn't last very long. As soon as he sent out the wrong thing on Instagram and all of a sudden Jamie Foxx is bending the knee, deleting his social media posts and apologizing to the Jewish community. Jamie Foxx apologizes after backlash over seemingly anti-Semitic posts. I think that if you really want to find anti-Semitism everywhere, you'll find it in that post. However, that's not the way most people read it, to be honest with you. Here is the post in question on his Instagram story from Jamie Foxx. Again, we're not that far removed from Jamie Foxx going through a really big medical complication where people didn't know if he was going to live or die or what the heck was going on with him. A lot of talk was out there surrounding Jamie Foxx. Now he's back on social media. He says, they killed this dude named Jesus. What do you think they do to you. Hashtag fake friends. Hashtag fake love. Immediately, a lot of people said, wow, he must be talking about the Jews. And in reality, what Jamie Foxx says he was talking about was just people that are fake friends. You know, Jesus's friends, look what they did to him. The people that were supposed to stand by him the whole time, they ended up not. That's what he's saying. And he does go on to explain all of this. Jamie Foxx apologizes for Instagram posts saying they killed this dude named Jesus following accusations of anti-Semitism. Hollywood star Jamie Foxx has apologized to the Jewish community for a recent social media post in which he referred to the killing of Jesus Christ, saying he was referring to a betrayal by a fake friend and wasn't targeting Jews. We just read that post. Fox quickly apologized after accusations of anti-Semitism started appearing on social media. And I'll go to Bryson Gray's uh, Twitter thread right here. Breaking, Jamie Foxx just apologized to the Jewish community for his post, which had nothing to do with the Jewish community. So let's read through this entire thing here. Hey guys, I want to apologize to the Jewish community and anyone else who was offended by my post. I know my words were clumsy and have caused offense that was never my intent. To clarify, I felt betrayed by a fake friend, and that's what I meant about they, nothing more. I have love in my heart for everyone. I support the Jewish community in all faiths, and I'm against all hate. Once again, my deepest apologies. Now, I get why he, he felt like he had to make this apology, because all of a sudden, these tweets were going viral. Yeah, Jamie Foxx is an anti-Semite. Jamie Foxx hate Jews. Like, all of this shit was going out there. In reality, I don't think he really had to apologize. He should have just said, hey, just so you guys know, I'm referring to fake friends. Now, if, if he felt the need to apologize, felt like he actually hurt people with that, I suppose the apology is okay, but it just goes to show you, man. Like, you had so many people on social media that were cheering on Jamie Foxx. Yeah, Jamie, get well soon. We can't wait to see you again, buddy. And then he posts one thing. Some couple people take it out of context, at least according to him, was out of context. And all of a sudden, people are out for blood. They want to cancel Jamie Foxx. Now, I definitely think if you're going out there and you're looking at this post and you're really looking to find somebody who's hating on Jews, this is probably a post that you could convince yourself that that is the case. You know, when you see something like this, they killed this dude named Jesus. What do you think they'll do to you? Now, of course, the hashtag fake friends and fake love, I think that that does show that he's talking about a specific instance that he's not just talking about Jews as a whole, but nevertheless, this went out there all over social media and he felt the need to come back and immediately bend the knee. And the sad thing is even with this big apology, like we've seen time after time, it doesn't matter. There's going to be some people now that anytime Jamie Foxx is in the news, they say, Hey, remember that one time Jamie Foxx was really anti-Semitic? Yeah. What a bad dude. We should cancel him. We should try to get all his roles and all his jobs taken away from him. That's likely what will happen even with this apology, but it just goes to show when you're in the entertainment industry, when you're in that woke Hollywood, woke entertainment space, all it takes is one step. That wasn't even like a step out of line. It was just somebody misinterpreting his post and it went viral. That's all it takes for them to throw you under the bus and want your scalp for the next one in the cancel culture mob. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.